What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it's time for the preview show. It is time to go through the comics coming out this week. So we're going to look at the comics coming out Tuesday from DC and Wednesday from all of the publishers, and we're going to get into it right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. Let's get into the comics coming out this week. We always start off with those spec comics, so we're going to get into it. We got Moon Knight number nine. That is the first one I am looking at. And uh, apparently there is a new character in this one. Somebody who was in a comic in print. Um, but now they're going to be, uh, sorry, a comic that was online. And now they're going to be in print. All right. Uh, looks like it's Rutherford Winner. He's an ex-Hydra assassin and terrorist. He's going to be in this book all right uh, moon knight's been great i can't complain about it here's the one in 25 which seems to have a little heat behind it so you may even want to look for that one all right and uh we're gonna keep moving oh and this one is done by martin simons he's uh he's been out there he's been doing some stuff and uh let's get back to the rest of the comics i'm trying to remember what the big one that Martin Simons is doing right now. Uh, I believe it's Department of Truth. So yeah, check him out on Department of Truth. All right, next up we got Star Wars Darth Vader number 20. This is the Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary variant second printing. They're also calling it the Beskar edition because it has the silver outline. And this is the first Mando and Grogu cover together. So, and Darth Vader's been a really good um, series, so I would check that out. So that's on the list. This book right now is actually going for anywhere from 10 to $15 on eBay at the moment. So it's already a hot book. And it, that's pre-sales, because it's supposed to come out Wednesday. All right, next up we got Star Wars The High Republic number 15. And this one has the first full, first full appearance of the leveler. All right. And this is uh, chapter 5 of Jedi's End, The Fall. So we got the leveler in this one. This is also the final issue in the first phase of these books. I believe after this they're going to go even further into the back. And what do we have with this? We have the 1 in 25, Star Wars The High Republic. I've only seen one sale for this and this book is... There's not a lot of them on eBay right now. Uh, the one sale I saw was for over 100 bucks. So that's the 1 in 25. Go ahead and try to grab that if you can get it for you know ratio or whatever if you're looking for the quick flip spend twice ratio and flip it for over 100 all right and then oh, i don't know why i went there <laughs> let's go to the next oh, star wars all star wars all the time guys all right we got dr strange number one and this is clea becoming the sorcerer supreme or the sorcerer supreme all right uh, Jen McKay's becoming a big Marvel writer, it looks like. He's always uh, on these short series and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens here. But it looks like he's uh, he's going to be writing this book for a little bit. And um, Jen McKay likes to use you know his own characters a lot. So he may be pulling Clea into other places. Who knows? A lot of spec behind that. There are a ton of covers though. So this is not a huge spec book. It's going to be a large print count. They have a 1 in 500 for this. Uh, J. Scott Campbell, which looks pretty cool. So don't, you know, don't go crazy on this book. You know, grab yourself a copy or two if you plan on speculating on it. You know, I wouldn't say any more than five copies. But that's that's the spec for those. For the, well, for that book anyway. So we'll get back to the, the four. So there you go. You got two Star Wars books. You got a Marvel book. Uh, well, they're all Marvel books this week, but uh, you got Doctor Strange, you got Moon Knight, you got Star Wars Darth Vader number 20, the second print, the Beskar edition, you got Star Wars The High Republic number 15. All right, let's get into a spotlight book. Here we go. This is not any kind of spec. This is just a book I was digging. This is Star Wars The High Republic uh, Eye of the Storm number two. So it's all Jedi, like I said, all the time. This is kind of going into the history of the Nihil and you know how we get to where they are in present day. But this, this cover is just dope, and that's pretty much why I'm looking at this book. That is just a dope cover. 
All right, so that, that is my spec of the day. And these, these uh, Star Wars High Republic books, they're all really good. All really good reads. Check them out. All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. We're going to start off with Image Comics like usual. And uh, crossover number 12, we have the, uh, the comic book killer revealed in that issue. So that can be a good issue. What else we have? We're going to keep it going until we find something else. Uh, Ice Cream Man, if you want. Volume 1 of the trade is out of the Seuss parodies. So go ahead and grab that. Loaded Bible. This is like a Jesus clone fighting vampires. It sounds interesting. I don't know. A lot of covers for that one. Might want to jump on that. All right. The Me You Love in the Dark gets a volume one. New Burn is up to issue number four. I'm liking New Burn. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Nightmare Blog, Nita Hall's Nightmare Blog. Really good book. Uh, I think I just finished issue three and uh, I haven't read issue four yet, but issue three just had me craving more. It's definitely not dropping that series unless four is really bad, but number five is out this week. Noctera number eight. Noctera continues to be a really good series, so you got that. Rogue Sun number one, which is Image creating their hero universe, all right? This is the uh, the first Rogue Sun book, or, you know, he was in uh, Supermassive, which came out, I believe, last week. But now here's their own solo title for Rogue Sun. All right, and this all interlocks into the Radiant Black universe. All right, and then you got the Walking Dead Deluxe. Walking Dead in color, awesome. All right, we got Dark Horse. Radio Spaceman number one is a two issue series by Mike Mignola, so that's out. And then you got some other books. All right, we're moving on to IDW. IDW usually has all your favorite 80s, 90s cartoon stuff. Here we go, we got G.I. Joe. You got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got Transformers Beast Wars. You got the best of Megatron, right? You got an Alan Moore book, The Voice of Fire. And you got some Star Trek. Very cool. All right, DC. We're at DC. All right, so you got Batman number 121. I like the new Batman series. Pretty cool. So I'm interested to see where that goes. Uh, Ghostmaker's on the cover. Last we saw, Ghostmaker was on his way, you know, out to uh, go train the clown hunter so what brings the ghost maker back i don't know uh you got arkham city the last issue of that six of six all right uh batman killing time which is is a younger batman going up against some of the the villains there in primarily catwoman and the riddler so that looks like it could be a fun series. Catwoman number 39 gets a second printing. That was, uh, that's the second printing of the one in 25, but now it's just a ratio. Uh, not a ratio, it's just a regular cover at regular price, but it's the second printing, all right? But yeah, the, the one in 25 sold pretty well. So I guess they reprinted that. Dark Knights of Steel continues on. So much Batman, but all of it's pretty good, all right? And here you go, Monkey Prince gets its second issue. We got Batman and Robin on the cover. It looks like fun. Nice House on the Lake, number 7 to 12 is out. That's a Black Label book by DC. Probably uh, the second best or third best DC title. And most likely, in my opinion anyway, the best Black Label book, DC Black Label book out there. All right, we're going to keep the party moving. Let's see what else we got. We're going to move on to Marvel Comics. All right, Aliens, number 10. There's talk of a new Xenomorph in that book, so that might be worth a pickup, especially if you're an Alien fan. A new type of Xenomorph is in there. Amazing Spider-Man number 91. There may be a new villain in this Amazing Spider-Man number 91, written by Kelly Thompson. So again, there you go, some more spec. As you can see, I ordered and subscribed to that, but I've been on Amazing Spider-Man. This, this iteration of uh, volume since issue one. All right, since we go back to, you know, the Nick Spencer days. Oof. All right, continuing on. No more Nick Spencer bashing. It's been a while. Um, what else we got? We got Black Panther number four. Ordered me a copy of that. We'll see where it goes. Black Panther number three was a pretty good issue. And uh, one and two are also available. One and two are all available for cover price. Issue three is skyrocketed. So if you couldn't get a hold of issue three, Sorry about that, but I think there is a second printing come out coming out with Tosin Adoye on the cover. 
so you might want to try to order that before it comes to shelves and we'll see what issue four is like all right daredevil woman without fear number three of three is out so this is the final daredevil woman without fear book so electra this run of her or this arc storyline is coming to an end here what does the future hold for Elektra and Daredevil? Or as Daredevil? We'll see. Alright. What else do we got? Keeping it moving. Spider-Man. Devil's Reign number one is out. Devil's Reign X-Men number two is out. You know, Devil's Reign is it's definitely affecting a lot of the heroes. So we're getting to see these books and see how what's happening in New York as the Kingpin, you know, makes life miserable for the uh, the heroes. Hulk number three gets a second printing. Moon Knight number nine is out. Again, new character in there. That was originally in digital. Now they're coming to print. Moon Knight number nine. You got that one in 25, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Spider Woman. Apparently, there's like a Sinister Six version uh, of villains coming to the Spider Woman book this week. And you got a Peach Momoko cover for you Peach Momoko fans. It's not a bad one. All right, let's keep it moving. Star Wars High Republic number 15. So many books out this week. That's the uh, the final book in this arc, in this chapter. Should be a good one. Star Wars High Republic Eye of the Storm number two, just the dope cover. I'm gonna get that Strange number one with Clea. That could be, you know, a minor spec book. I don't see it Ooh, skyrocketing, but it should be all right. Strange Academy number 15, the second printing. The first printing sold out. That's like a 15, 20 dollar book. Here you go, second printing. All right, you got What If Miles Morales. That's uh, the book that, you know, he wasn't actually given the powers, been by Spider. Government agency recruits him to be a super soldier. So there we go. And uh, let's just keep going. Let's go to Dynamite. All right, so we're at Dynamite. Again, tons of covers from Dynamite every every week so many covers but yeah you know, a lot of them are cool we got some bond this week too all right got some sheena a lot of sheena covers and some vampireverse all right we're at boom studios boom here comes the boom all right um there you go you got some magic gathering you got the something is killing the children pack uh bundle number two david mack these covers it'll be something's killing children six through ten some pretty pretty cool covers so if you're looking for more david mac there you go return of the mac all right so we're moving on to the rest of the comics coming out this week if i missed something let me know guys tell me hey hey that's a good book you should uh read it or cover it or talk about it let me know let me know what i'm missing all right here we go you got some cowboy bebop you cowboy bebop fans what else do we have the hulk peach mogo graded if you want to order that through your shop probably still available dual uh number one of ten gets a second printing that was a book that saw some heat when it first came out i think it was going for about 20 bucks i don't know what it's down to now it may only be like a 10 dollar book people were really interested in duel all right we're gonna keep going uh you promise me darkness has a follow-up series and follow me into the darkness all right so if you were a fan of that here you go here's your your second arc of that story lots of covers for that one and we're gonna keep searching what do we have out here that's good as you can see there's a lot of uh images that haven't even been released yet last book you'll ever read number five is coming out lots of covers for that one lots of goodness coming out this week looks like a lot of books last week also there were a lot of books so you know there's not a ton on the spec market in my opinion but there are a ton of quality books and good stories coming out with by excellent creators okay so there is a ton of options so we're just gonna keep going keep Keep, keep keeping on we're almost at the end once again comic fam comic fans don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell go ahead and throw me a thumbs up comment down below that is the preview of the new books coming out this week hopefully i've helped to inform you as to 
you know, what you're purchasing. I don't want to tell you what to purchase, but maybe you saw something that you're like, ooh, I really like that. Okay? So, all right, comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. Peace!